It's Tuesday the 16th of July 2019 and it's Ken from Pinefinders Old Pine Furniture Warehouse in Haddenham in Buckinghamshire, UK. And we've just had another delivery of furniture. So I'm recording a video of everything that's just arrived for you. All of this will be added to the website over the next couple of weeks with photographs of video dimensions and price of everything individually and it will be placed in its correct category on the website for sale and obviously if there's anything you're interested in then I can prioritize that piece for you I can take the photographs and get that all done for you and give you any information you might like as well as delivery costs if you let me have your postcode so we'll start with this lovely pair of antique pine bedside cupboards these have marble tops white marble tops and what I'm going to do I'm just going to show you the the price ticket so the codes at the top C7405B that's this individual code the price in the bare word or as it is 320 the price when restored and waxed 397 this is for the pair and then on the back of the tickets you will see the dimensions height 31 inches width 18 inches that's at the widest point and highest point depth 13 and that's obviously the deepest point as well everything will be measured in inches i won't be reading everything out because my voice will run out so that's a pair of bedside cupboards And then we have another pair of bedside cupboards here. These have still got the original glazed tops. The video isn't going to be very, um, sorry, the, the pictures aren't going to be very brilliant, but they're absolutely stacked with furniture, so I haven't got much space, but it'll give you an idea of everything. As I say, I can get cracking and give you any details if you're interested in something and send you some decent, decent photographs. So these ones, the tops can be taken off. It would leave little circular marks on the top there which I would patch up as best as possible but that's what I often do for people if they don't want these cupboards on top on these ones this is obviously the price for the pair again uh, the height 49 inches right to the top right up there and then 31 is the base height that's to there so okay then we've got an Edwardian pine wardrobe that's just a shadow across there, don't worry about that. Let me show you. And I'm, I'm going to try and bleach these panels here to get them a little bit lighter. I think that would be quite nice. Draw at the bottom. Now this one doesn't dismantle. Some of these smaller wardrobes don't dismantle, so be careful. Uh, on wardrobes, with wardrobes, you'll have the same on the front. On the back you'll see an extra dimension on the bottom, the internal depth. On this one, 13 and a half inches, quite shallow. And that is that measurement, the hanging space, essentially. Very important on wardrobes. And you may have noticed there has two height measurements. And that is because this has a crown piece that goes on the top. You might like to keep that. That's quite attractive. You can see that. Any of these wardrobes can be shelved if you didn't want to use a hanging rail. Obviously with these ones they're very shallow so hanging space is not really, that is, well it's not really enough hanging space so you might like them shelved so let me do, let me know if you do. There's, next to that there's this other one piece wardrobe, again it doesn't dismantle this one. And the internal depth, again, is not really deep enough for hanging. It's probably okay for shirts and things with small hangers. But a bit shallow for suits and coats. And it, I found a couple of old shelves that I don't know if they might get close to fitting. So you, I just put them in there because they seemed quite close. But we can obviously shelve, shelve this for you if you did want it shelved. Next to that, we have... <coughs> A nice English, small English pine dresser with a rack top. Yeah, it has 
there's a shelf inside there on the left hand side the top does separate from the base for delivery or it will do for, for delivery then we've got another base unit here this one's had a new top but i'm going to play around well if you when you when I restore it and wax it, I'll make sure that the blends it blends in nicely with the base. It's a nice cupboard that is, I like that. And then a very nice tea caddy top Danish cupboard, an old one. That's just a dummy drawer at the top, that's not a drawer. You've got two doors. Then a drawer here. Then you have another big wide door there, and then a drawer at the bottom. That is a drawer at the bottom there. A lovely old cupboard this is. Then we've got a nice double wardrobe. Again, that's just a shadow, don't worry about that, Mark. It's not a mark, it's a shadow. Now this wardrobe totally dismantles for delivery, so it will go up any stairway. That's the way it was made. Dating from around about 1919, possibly 1910. And this is nice and deep inside, 21 inch internal depth. Hanging space there, so nice and deep for hanging big coats and everything you need. And obviously with a wardrobe, I'll fit a hanging rail at the top for you if you'd like one at the top. On tall wardrobes, this might be okay. You could, we could maybe fit a shelf in at the top there and put the hanging rail underneath. Just gives you a little bit more use of the height there. Yeah, I should think that would be okay with a, with a shelf about. And maybe if I put a shelf up here with a curved front. So you can get you some cool get in there. So anyway, we can talk about that. I'm waffling. We've got another base unit here. I think this is Dutch, is it? Yeah, I think it's Dutch. The one drawer at the top and then two doors. We have another base unit. These both have shelves in the base, in inside here. I've got a shelf in there. <clears throat> and another one, a bigger one here. Nice big old one here. Then we have a small chest of drawers, two small drawers over two larger ones. 1920, I would say this is made. And then a lovely big dome top chest. Really nice big one. show you inside. Yeah, loads of room in there. Then we've got a very deep cupboard, two door cupboard. Now this is, um, we've put the internal, yeah the internal depth of this is actually 22 inches so you could use this as a children's wardrobe and hanging, actually hang clothes in there. So yeah lovely big thing this is, two doors. Very useful storage cupboard, if not hanging for hanging space. Another base with a nice, attractive back piece on. Cupboard. And it's got white porcelain knobs there, as you can see. This is, again, Dutch, I think. Oh, I don't know, it could be Czechy, actually. I'm not sure. And again, 29 to here height and 43 and a half to the top of there. And this is Dutch. 
old Dutch cupboard. That's the A-team just turned up. Maybe you didn't hear that jingle on his van. If you didn't, then I'm just sounding silly. It's the sandwich van. Um, yes, so we've got... I'm doing a lot of waffling today. Chest of drawers, two small drawers, two small drawers over two wider ones. And it's got that back piece on. Now that could be taken off if you didn't like it. There would probably be some... Yeah, there's some lugs that go in here. So there would be some holes in the top, but they could be filled and I can play around with that if you'd like me to. We can take that off. What have we got next? Oh yes, this um, beautiful old Georgian chest of drawers. Very, very old, this one. It's just had a new plinth, so this plinth has been made. But yeah, it's certainly got some age, this has. Then we have a triple wardrobe 1930s with a mirror the, mirror the original mirror in the middle beveled mirror and three drawers in the base this totally dismantles for delivery so it'll go up any stairway let me just open this up and there is a now let me get this right there's going to be a, a partition here that's where the partition goes and you're going to have shelves on the right there. Two or three shelves on the right hand side on adjustable bearers. So if you imagine if you open this door, you're going to have shelves here with a partition here. And in the left hand side, there's going to be a shelf at the top. So let me just open this door. The lock there. Um, there's a there's just this piece of wood here. And then there's gonna be a shelf across the top. And then we're gonna put a rail underneath it. So you're gonna have hang essentially hanging in this hanging space on this side, and you're gonna have shelves in there. And as I said, this totally dismantles for delivery, so it will go up any stairway. And it's nice and deep as well. That's the price. And it's 21 inch internal depth. Then we have a big antique pine wardrobe. Nice big one. Again, totally dismantles for delivery. This is, looks, yeah, it's French, this one. Again, that's a shadow, don't worry about that. Nice, big, deep wardrobe. Totally dismantles for delivery, so I'll go up any stairway again. And this is really high, so I would say probably have a shelf about there with the hanging rail underneath it. And that'll make a lot of use of the height. So internal depth, 22 and a half inches. Then we have another lovely wardrobe here some cracking wardrobes. Two drawers at the bottom. And this one, again, totally dismantles. And I didn't, yes, I didn't point out these. This is on external shelves, uh, external hinges, and this one is. They both are. It just means these doors, they can open almost flush if you see that which is really nice if you're a bit lim limited with space a little bit in the room that's very useful to have those so that one and this one has those 
hinges on so those doors open almost flush. So this one, two drawers at the bottom. And again, totally dismantles for delivery, so it'll go up any stairway. And with these wardrobes, I can come and deliver them and put them together for you. Just let me know where you are, I can give you a quote. If you are too far away, or you're feeling confident about assembling them yourself, then I can provide a video of me showing you how to do it. And there is one actually on the wardrobes page of the website. You can see me putting one wardrobe together, so that might help. Obviously, I can talk you through it on the phone, and that may reduce the price of the delivery charge of delivery if I don't have to come myself if you were too far away and then again another lovely big arch top antique pine wardrobe again totally dismantles for delivery nice and big and solid two drawers at the bottom Mr. Cracker this one Again, 21 internal depth, so nice and deep. And uh, the drawers were always originally opened with the keys, but if you'd like me to, I could put little wooden knobs on or something for you. But yeah, we can talk about that. Just let me know what you'd like me to do. Then I think this is the last piece from the delivery, a lovely painted, original, originally painted wardrobe which splits into two pieces for delivery. So this one, painted in 1836. And I'll show you as much detail as I can. So as I say, this is the original paint finish. Is that an F? F, G, F, S, P? May have been given as a wedding present or something, or painted as a wedding present. So if you've got the initials, no, that's not an F, is it? That's, would that be a J? J, G, that's an F, F, S, P. Yeah, so if you've got some of those initials, perfect. Um, right, so this has, shelves so it's got two adjustable shelves on these adjustable bearers here so you can have two shelves there and it's got a little drawer well a wide drawer at the bottom and it splits into two piece pieces for delivery as I said so you've got there's the old catch lock so you've got the top section with lift, lifts off here that lifts up and then the main body splits into two, so that's one piece. Sorry, that's one piece down here, and that's another piece. So it splits into two main sections for delivery. So that should go up most stairways. If you're worried at all, just let me know. I can give you the exact dimensions of each piece, and we can make sure it'll go up your stairs okay. And the internal depth, 18 inches. So if you did want us to put a hanging rail in, we could do, and that would be okay for hanging most things. Might be a little bit tight for big coats and big suits and things. And I think that's everything. So yes, so if there's anything you're interested in, then obviously everything is here. If you'd like to come and view, just let me know if you'd like to come during the week. Otherwise I'm open Fridays 10 till four, Saturdays 10 till five, Sundays 12 till 4. So during the week, other times I'm often here, sometimes I'm out delivering. So just let me know if you'd like to book an appointment to come and see me. I'll give you the postcode HP178BY. And yes, so if there's anything you're interested in, we can also take pictures for you straight away, and or I could take a little video for you, a more detailed video if you'd like me to. And um, yeah, just let me know. I hope there's something you like.